Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Professor Norman Cornett, religious studies scholar, art critic, and curator, with the work, Oil on Canvas, of Juan Aquino, entitled Fullness. In this small format painting, to all intents and purposes, Juan Aquino has achieved the equivalent of poetry, by which I mean an economy of means, saying the most with the least. He's a minimalist formally, that is to say, with respect to the forms. He only gives us enough formality, forms, contours, shapes, so that our eyes can rest and abide in the colors, and he rejoices in color. The works remind us of Claude Monet. In fact, we could ask ourselves, is this a Latin American equivalent of Impressionism? There's enough just enough morphology, shape-making, form-making, for us to recognize a landscape. But this landscape is like no other. And therein we realize that one Aquino, in reality, creates dreamscapes. We dream wonderful, ecstatic dreams through his work. And when I say ecstasy, as a religious studies scholar, I'm referring to the mystery that he builds on the picture plane as though he mirrors what it's like for the human spirit to fully rejoice, to take joy in color. Sarah McLaughlin, the Canadian singer, had a wonderful song entitled Building a Mystery. Juan Aquino, in fullness, builds a mystery. He does so in an almost mystical way through the luminosity of this work. Again and again, Juan Aquino works in that dynamic tension between dawn and dusk, that ambiguity, that equivocation this is very much so that the light does not blanch out the colors, which means so much to him as an artist. We think of the poets who refer to reverie and among native peoples, dream catchers. Has Juan Aquino caught a dream? Through the pillar of light, almost the tunnel of light that he creates here, I cannot help thinking as a religious study scholar of the divine presence in the book of Genesis the first book of the Hebrew scriptures, what Christians call the Bible. God as a pillar of light leading us to another, a spiritual reality that moves between heaven and earth. I invite you to discover 
almost what I would call the spiritual chromaticism of Juan Aquino. At Juan Aquino, blogspot.